today I'm going to be talking about science, how I teach it, what I use, why it's my absolute favorite curriculum. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and this is Hinterlife Homeschool. Welcome. My kids absolutely light up when we do science. Science is one of our, the favorite uh, subjects in our homeschool. If you've been following me for a while, my kids are very hands-on. They really like to do hands-on learning. Uh, it's just how they absorb the information and that works great, that's fine. But it requires a lot of things and organization on my part in order to have that go seamlessly and make sure I have all of the things because you know what it's like when you're missing one key element in an experiment, it doesn't work. <laughs> and it's incredibly stressful, uh, especially when you've got disappointed faces looking at you. I've been there, I know what it's like, and I'm never letting that happen again. So that's why I've got a system in place on my Sunday planning. I'll just quickly take you through um, that process at the end of the video, just to see if it might help you if you've got also hands-on learners or you like to incorporate a few experiments here and there. It really has helped me avoid having that problem happen again. Um, so we are using Blossom and Root Level 4 Science. The themes are physics and engineering. And then after we've finished the physics and engineering, it's kind of broken up into two parts. The other part for the later on in the year will be um, human body. So we're looking forward to doing that as well. So right now we're actually just doing the physics and engineering. We've only kind of just been doing it it's our second term. Now we're well into the second term. So we've been doing quite a few experiments and bits and pieces and we're really, really enjoying it. Um, it has a good flow to it, but it's not predictable. Um, and it's got a really great level of information so that we can dig deeper if we need to. I don't have to research anything or find anything further. It is enough. I never need to supplement this curriculum. That has been something that has been so wonderful and refreshing because usually I do them in route. So it starts off with uh, two guidebooks. You get two guidebooks. This is just for the science component. Everything else is just more like one guidebook. Uh, but for the science, there are two. And the reason for that is that you have your laboratory guide and you have your teacher guide. So the teacher guide is essentially what are you going to learn and, you know, how you can actually teach that or relay that information to your children. So uh, there are a couple of options. You are given an option to put on a video through YouTube. You are given an option to choose a book from the book list that is, you know, for the library, allowing you to choose which uh, way to present the information to your children so that they, you know that they're going to absorb that, understand it, and it's going to be on their level. Uh, we tend to just read straight from the information that she has given in the curriculum. There's the write-up, the explanations, that's enough for us. There's just usually point form. Um, I usually write that on our little blackboard, the kids love it, and then they can just um, grab their science journals and write that out and then we just get stuck straight into the activity part because that's the part that they're looking forward to the most. Occasionally we do watch the YouTube videos, there have been some great suggestions, especially in some of the engineering stuff which, you know, really does require you to kind of see things in action. Um, and they've been working really great. Sometimes I look through the, the book list as well. The book lists are great. They are fantastic books, I've just got to say. Uh, with Blossom and Root, uh, the curriculums do require books for you to purchase. So I have purchased some uh, a book to accompany our science investigations, um, and it's working out great. Uh, that alone um, is a pretty good reference for most things. So that works really well. So for each lesson, or as Blossom and Root call it, wonder, we are taken through and introduced to a concept. So for example, one of the, the things that we've just recent lear recently learned about is force. Okay, and it tells you the various types of, uh, you know, force. And I explain that to my kids. And uh, then we go and do the experiments. Now, the cool thing, this is the great thing about this curriculum, is that it is actually 
when you get to the activity, the experiment part, you're not just told one option. You are given a menu of many different approaches. So, you know, for the craft family, the crafting, you know, preference family, you can do this kind of craft. For the outdoors family, you can do this or go to a park and see this in action. You can, you are given so many options. There is just the tabletop family where they, you just want to write down something. You are given a, like a lab sheet and something to observe or, you know, you can get uh, given, you know, most of the um, experiments they offer you a to go on a treasure hunt and find those things in action. So, you know, witnessing those things and crossing them off. There are so many options in this curriculum and that is why I love it so much. So in a week that we are really busy, I love that I can just go, oh, I, I, I don't have time to go and purchase these things or I don't want to go and purchase these things because I don't have time on Wednesday to set it all up or, you know, clean up the mess or whatever it is, um, or we're going out, or we're going away or something like that. We just need to just do that element, read the book, understand the concept, and we can maybe do the experiment later on, later on in the week. So for that reason, I would just choose one of the easier, you know, less messy or whatever option. I would choose that accordingly. And I love the fact that I can do that because it does keep it just a, a, a you can still do that lesson. You know, sometimes you get these science curriculums and you think, oh, I'm going to do all these experiments. And then like you go through a, a season where it's just too hard or you just can't keep that momentum each week. So then you put off the actual lesson because, I mean, why teach it if you can't do the fun part of it? Uh, with the kids. So it's kind of you put it off and you put it off. You don't have to do that with this curriculum. And that's what I love about it. I love the fact that it just can go with, you know, your ability, your kids ability, and you can just dip in and out with with the experiments themselves. So that is just something that works so well for us. And on the flip side, if that, that investigation really strikes joy um, and, you know, you can see that spark, that fire is still going and you really want to just be able to keep going with that, you have other options that they can do. And that's the thing. My kids often will go, can we do something else? What else can we do? And I'll have a menu of things that I can say, well, would you like to do this one? We can do this one. Or would you like to do this one? You can follow the instructions, see if you can do it on your own. And it's kind of helping them to become a little bit more independent and, and you know, put to work some instructions and figure it out themselves as well, which is fantastic. And the science journal just allows it, it has laboratory sheets, it has you know suggestions and things that you can do um I, my kids love capturing drawings of the actual thing that they're learning or they're talking about or they've figured out that thing for example with force my my kids have worked out that force um you know oh that's the swinging that's the you know if i if i push the child on the on the swing that's then that's force that's the contact version of force um, and you know, they, they both drew that. And I think that's really cool. The fact that they kind of come up with the idea, they draw it. Now they remember that, like they remember it. And I haven't come across a curriculum that really does that quite as well as Blossom and Root. And, um, that is the reason why we, we just love it so much. But clearly I am completely head over heels for this curriculum. It works incredibly well, particularly the science. We are loving it. So I will be doing another sort of like, you know, summary review towards the end of next year as well um, in terms of like what we think of the curriculum having done it for, you know, much longer. Um, I'm especially I'm especially interested in the human body curriculum. Um, I think that that's going to be really good because we have brushed on that so I think the kids are ready to kind of take it to the next level and learn like you know going deeper into um understanding you know all of the cells and how they work and all of that kind of stuff this curriculum has been wonderful and I just wanted to take you through how I go about organizing all the things for the science uh equipment and all of that sort of stuff so I have a to purchase list I put everything into my homeschool planner freely and it allows me to prioritize what I need to purchase so when I do that I I create, a, I have a project and I have um, 
Blossom and Root Physics and Engineering, a whole section for them in my projects part of uh, my planner that allows me to just ha have that one, you know, in focus um, on that project. And it allows me to break down the lessons. I attach all of the guidebooks, so both guidebooks, I attach a link in um, freely for the experiment that I've chosen to do that I think we'll want to do most likely um, in that lesson. So I attach that and then I attach the actual instructions for, you know, teaching that element, that, that, that wonder as um, Blossom and Root mentioned. So I attach both of those into the activity and then I just kind of write some notes and I also make a note of what equipment that I'll need in that actual lesson. Um, but I also have, have a supplies list. So Blossom and Root are great with the way they set everything out. They have a suggested supplies list of what you need as well. So that's really, really good. And I just make a note of what, you know, what equipment I need or what bits and pieces that I need. They're usually just around the house kind of things or craft things. Um, so I make a note of that. And in my Sunday planning, I actually go and I run through that and go, okay, I'll just make sure I've got all of these things. And if I don't, I purchase them. So that's a running list of things that I constantly like to have on hand. And if there's anything more in depth, like there are particular things, like I know we're going, we're doing a thing, um, we're covering gears and we're covering our uh, circuits. So those are things that I'm going to have to purchase. I've got that on another list that's more of a to purchase. And that's a way for me to be able to kind of really figure out whether I should or not um, purchase it. Because, you know, with some of these things, you, you they're complementary. They're just suggested. They're not something that you have to purchase. It's just it complements the learning that we're doing right now. Um, so... It just depends on whether my kids, I think my kids will really uh, gain anything from that. Uh, and I definitely think that we will de definitely get the, the circuits. We're going to create a little circuit. You can just get little kits. They're pretty inexpensive. So I think we'll get that. And I'm looking at getting a games, uh, like a board game type thing that incorporates gears. So I'm going to address it in that sense because we love board games and then I'll get more use out of it. So that's kind of how I organize things in um, my homeschool planner. Uh, I think digital is fantastic for this kind of curriculum because you have two books and you can just condense it. Just pay attention to the one, you know, the, the two particular things that you've chosen to do and apply that into your lessons. So you're not kind of flipping through all the pages in one book, then flipping all the pages in the other book and trying to like not get too overwhelmed with all the information. Um, you definitely, if you did have the physical copies, I would be killing that with a highlighter <laughs> and just highlighting out what I'm going to do because otherwise you just get so distracted by all that information. So that's why I love Freely Homeschool Planner, uh, particularly for this curriculum. I think it really helps and complements it. Um, so yeah, that's how I approach that. Um, in terms of organization. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found that maybe, um, you know, if you're not enjoying your science uh, lessons and your, the curriculum that you're using, maybe look at Blossom and Root. I hope that maybe it's encouraging you to look elsewhere. There are some fantastic science curriculums out there. And I think it's something that really brings joy to kids. I think that anything hands-on really kind of brings learning to life for them. So I really wanted to share this video with you. And I've had a couple of people question, like ask me to share science in particular with Blossom and Root because there's not that many reviews on um, YouTube at the moment with Blossom and Root Science. So I hope I've done it justice. I truly love it. Um, it's been wonderful. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate. You can contact me on my Instagram account. I always have lots of stories of what we're doing um, throughout the week on my Instagram account as well, uh, checking in and just showing, you know, what we're learning, what we're doing. I often share experiments that we're doing on my stories as well. So you can go over there and follow me there and see what we're up to. But also, you know, you can message me on Instagram or on YouTube um, in the description box below. Go ahead, ask any questions that you might have. Um, if I don't have an answer, I'll find one for you.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would love for you to like it. It helps my channel and it lets me know that I'm making the kinds of videos that you want to watch. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.